Thank you. From National Deaf History Month to Hansel and Gretel, we, we got, got the scoop. We got the scoop. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Centurions, and welcome to the Inside Scoop Tuesdays with Ariana and Katya. It's March 31st, 2015, and you're in luck because you get to spend it with us. Besides being the last day of the month, it is also National Cesar Chavez Day. He dedicated his life to improving the treatment and pay and working conditions for farm workers and to knew what hardship um, farm workers face. And it's also National Deaf Month. And in honor of Deaf History <laughs> Month, we wanted to talk a little about one of the most famous and best composers and pianist ever who happened to also be deaf, Beethoven. He composed chamber music, choral works, and songs. Born in Bonn, Beethoven displayed his musical talents at an early age and was taught by his father, Joanne Beethoven, and Christian Gottlieb Neff. During his first 22 years in Bonn, Beethoven intended to study with Mozart and Hayden. Beethoven moved to Vienna in 1792 and began studying with Hayden, quickly gaining a reputation as a pianist. He lived in Vienna until his death. In about 1800, his hearing began to fade away, and by the last decade of his life, he was almost totally deaf. He gave up conducting and performing in public, but continued to compose. Many of his most admired works come from his, this period. Beethoven never let the fact that he wasn't able to hear stop him from being the best and definitely never disappointing, disappo disappointing his audience. And to this day, music, his music is still being played all over the world. Centurions, the leukemia campaign has been extended until after spring break and students should turn in their small boxes to room 319 because Ms. Lee will be out until after spring break. So throughout the past two weeks, we have been receiving some interesting pictures in our Snapchat. It's time for our segment, Snapchat Us. <laughs> and there are some of our favorite pictures. The first photo is from what I believe some of our seniors taking a field trip to OCC. <clears throat> that is such a cute picture, but I am not sure who sent that picture though. So I'm sorry, but I do see Ellen. The next one was my absolute favorite. Obviously because it's us. No? <laughs> All I have to say is that I am glad that you are watching us, but I really don't think you should be using your phone during class. This is a cute picture though. It is, and I can argue that, but I really don't think you should be watching it. And the next picture looks very familiar, doesn't it? Watching <laughs> This is a picture of Kathy serving some delicious ice cream during International Week, and again, we are not sure who sent these, but I apologize for not giving you credit. Yeah. And Centurions, if you want to see some of your pictures up here, then add us at InsideScoop.tv. Okay, well, I am happy to announce that spring football begins on Monday, May 18, and if you are planning to play football next year, you must attend spring and summer practice. If you have not played in a sport this year, then you will have to have an athletics packet and physical done before you may <coughs> practice. There will be a mandatory spring football parent meeting on Tuesday, May 12 at 6.30 p.m. for all football participants. See Coach Lapic in room 5209 if you are interested in joining the team. Or are you interested in joining ASB or class council? If you said yes, then you should pick up an election packet at the ASB window. Anytime this week. Completed packets are due back to the ASB window by April 2nd, but make sure that you don't wait until last minute to pick up your packet because there is a petition and recommendation forms that are required as part as of a completed packet. 
Or are you interested in joining the inside scoop? If you said yes, then you should pick up a packet. Um, there's no packet. But you should definitely, definitely <coughs> join. There will be a book club meeting this Wednesday after school in room 318. You guys will have a quick meeting before parents arrive to open house. They now have new books and you get to be the first ones to read them. And since we did mention open house, well, open house is in fact tomorrow and we'll begin at 530 in the gym with a wonderful performance of our performing groups. There will also be tables displayed for all clubs, programs and sports. Food will be sold by various clubs and programs as well <laughs> after he, they perform. Parents will have a chance to visit classroom, meet teachers, so make sure you invite your family. Plus, Ellen and Ingrid will have a live broadcast for all your parents. Science Club members, there is a mandatory meeting due to the fact that Thursday is a minimum day and here is and there is no school on Friday. You guys have three free um you guys have three free field trips coming up this April and if you and if it's Miss Park's favorite price, so you should go, but space is limited so you need to turn in your permission slips ASAP. You must turn them in before spring break. The first is the Cal State Fullerton Science Extravaganza on Saturday, April 4th, and the bus is leaving at 8 a.m., and breakfast and lunch will be included. Sheep Junior Engineer Day at USC is Saturday, April 11th. You must dress business casual. There is a campus tour and free lunch. UC Irvine's celebration is April 18th. Brenda, Armando, and our UC Irvine friends are planning a fabulous day for us. A free breakfast and lunch is included. This is UCI's 50th anniversary, so it should be an incredible day. They're all free and include a free lunch. It's Miss Pike's favorite price again. So go on to the meeting on Wednesday. You guys have a lot to discuss and don't be late because Miss Pike will not wait for you. On Friday some of, and Monday, some of our Inside Scoop members went and recorded an interesting video. We the Inside Scoop were wondering how many people would do an act of kindness. By this we mean that we went around campus and one of our Inside Scoop members dropped a binder full of, full of papers on purpose. We wanted to see how many people would actually stop and help to pick them up. Take a look. Thank you to everyone who actually helped. You are truly kind. So last week the drama class performed their almost their play, the almost true story of Hansel and Gretel, and they did an amazing job. So take a look. Hi, I'm Daisy. And I'm Diana. And we're about to go see the Hansel and Gretel play. So take a look. <laughs> <laughs> 
Have fun! They were so amazing and I thought it was hilarious. I was laughing throughout the whole play. So I guess this wraps up today's broadcast. See you on the flip side. Bye.